Welcome to the next session of ANSYS ABDL Tutorials. In this session, we are solving a numerical of composite wall which is subjected to some amount of heat transfer. A wall of a furnace is made up of inside layer of silica brick 120 mm thick covered with a layer of magnesite brick 240 mm thick. So there are two layers of brick as we can read here. The temperatures at the inside surface of silica brick wall and outside surface of magnesite brick wall are 725 degrees Celsius and 110 degrees Celsius respectively. If thermal conductivities of silica and magnesite bricks are 1.7 watt per meter degree Celsius and 5.8 watt per meter degree Celsius, calculate the rate of heat loss per unit area of walls and the temperature drop at the interface. So these are two things we have to find and these are the properties and data given to us. So we will start with ANSYS APDL. We'll first go to preferences, thermal, okay, preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add. Now here we are going to add link 3D conduction 33. Here you can read the element type reference number is 1. Okay, but we know that there are two layers, one is of silica, one is of magnesite. So I need to add another one. So this is the same type link 3D conduction 33, but here you can read the element type reference number is 2. Okay, so I have created two links. Close. Next I'll go to real constants, add, edit, delete, add. Now here you can see there are two types. So first I'll go to type 1. Okay. Read this real constant set number. So just remember this term. This will be used later on. This is number 1. Also here it is written the reference number for the element type is 1. It's given here. The cross sectional area since it is not given. Let me assume it as 1. Okay. Now next I again need to click on this. Add. Here I can see the type 2 also needs to be defined. Okay. Here if you read the element type reference number is 2. Real constant set number is 2. And the area that I am giving is 1 again. Okay. Close. So this is something we have defined. Next we will go to material properties. Material models. The first material is silica. So I need to give some thermal conductivity value. Now it is already given to me in the question. The value is 1.7. Okay. There is another material, so I'll go to material, new model. You can see here the material ID is 2. Okay. For the first one, it is material ID 1. Now again, I need to give a property, so I'll give isotropic property. This is the thermal conductivity. The value is given in the question as 5.8. So I've created two material. Close. This completes material properties. Next, I'll go to modeling. First, I'll go to create key points in active CS. The first node is at 0, 0, 0. Apply. The second node will have the thickness of silica brick which is 120 mm. So I'll write 0 0.12 meter. Apply. The third node is all about the second element. Second element has thickness 240 mm. So it should be added with 0 0.12. So this will make it to 0 0.36 meter. Okay. So these are my three nodes. Then I'll go to lines, lines, straight line, so that I can form line over here by clicking on two nodes. Okay. After this is done, one extra step needs to be done in this kind of analysis, that is clicking on elements. I'll go to element attributes. Now you can check here, element type number one. For this, we are associating the first material. We are giving real constant set number as 1. Okay. Again, I'll click here and then I'll go for element 2. This is element type 2 for which the material I created was number 2 and the real set constant number, set number was also 2. Okay. So, this defines the material property for each element. So, this completes my modeling. Next, I'll go to meshing size controls, manual size, lines, all lines. I will give number of element divisions as 10. Okay. 
then i'll go to mesh lines i'll pick all and the meshing is done now i can go to plot controls numbering and click on this element slash attribute numbering and here i can say i want to see the element numbers okay so now i can clearly see all the element numbers now one thing that i would do here is i would try to find out where is the interface now if you understand we have given 10 divisions for each element which means first 10 elements are of the first element that is silica brick and these four elements that you see here these are for the next one so meshing is done next i will go to loads define loads apply thermal temperature on key points now we read that on inside surface of silica brick the value of temperature is 725 degrees celsius and the temperature on the outside wall of magnesite brick was 110. So this completes my temperature loading. Next I'll go to solution, solve, current LS. Okay, solution is done. So close it. Then I'll go to general post processing, plot results, contour plot, nodal solution. I first want to see the nodal temperature. So these are the values that you can see. I can go to plot controls, style, size and shape. If I click here display of elements on, I can see the element here. Now I can see the isometric view so that I can see a 3D figure or I can see something like this, the front view wherein I can see the distinction. Now, the difference of the two color over here is actually indicating the interface temperature. So, if you can just count over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the yellow one ends with 10 elements and after that, with the green, the slight green color here, you would see the start of the next element. So, the transition from yellow to green over here, this yellow color to this green color is actually the transition and that is going to indicate the difference of temperature here interface temperature now we can discuss about this by some other method also if you don't want to use this method and you find it a little difficult apart from the nodal solution showing the temperature i can also see the thermal flux along the x-axis now i decided x-axis by seeing this direction x so the value over here is 9908 this is the value of heat flux through the body. Now we can go for list results, nodal solution, degree of freedom, nodal temperature, okay. Now here if you recollect, I had told you after 10 starts the second element, that is magnesite brick. So 10 to 11 is nothing but your change from one element to the other. So that is the interface temperature will lie between 10 and 11. So, if you subtract the value of these two, that is 561 minus 540.5, this is going to give you the interface temperature. The difference between these two values is 20.5. So, approximately your interface temperature will be 20.5. And we have also calculated the heat flux over here. You cannot get the value of heat flux here as I have told you because it's the same value. So, the software doesn't give any solution. So this is how you can see your results for this type of a question. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.